Greetings my friends, I'm doing 10,000 pull-ups to pie. I'm doing 10,000 pull-ups to pie. I'm just a normal guy who's doing 10,000 pull-ups to pie. We're almost halfway my friends, this is the week we reach 5,000 pull-ups to pie. I know, I might be the only person on the planet that has used that in a sentence. Pull-ups to pie. <laughs> but anyhow, so today we are on day 47. Uh, which is, I've got it on the board here, 4,601 to 4,700. For anyone watching this video, I know it's, it's usually quite long videos, between 20 and 30 minutes. I'm going to really try and push through them to make them sub 20 minutes, but I've got to do 100 pull-ups, because this is a quest for 10,000 pull-ups and to memorise 10,000 digits of pi, but I'm only doing 100 pull-ups in 100 pi digits per day. Um, but know this though that <laughs> know this that in the future I do plan on and almost everything that I think or say I'm going to do I end up doing it uh, if it's physically or mentally possible I kind of I like challenges and I want to do 10,000 pull-ups and I want to memorize the full 10,000 digits in one waking session which could take I'm just I've got it in my head that's going to take 40 hours so I've got to stay awake for 40 hours I've got a venue in mind, it's like the local CrossFit um, venue, uh, the guy who runs it, Ali's just like an awesome guy. So I'm thinking that when I actually eventually come to do this, which I feel I would like to do it by the end of the year. So this will be done by the middle of May, then I use X amount of months to really train um, the physique and the body to be able to do, um, well to resist, resist, <laughs> accomplish 10,000 pull-ups. I mean it does sound a lot. And I mean, considering it would have took us from the beginning of January to the middle of May to do the full 10,000, it's just 100 a day, you might wonder, how can you do 10,000 pull-ups kind of in a row? But it's just, again, it would just be like, say, five pull-ups, five pull-ups, and then whew, rest a minute. I know it doesn't sound a long time. And then five pull-ups, and I've, I've had some, and just do that continuously, but throughout it, I might have to drop it down to three pull-ups or four pull-ups a minute, or might even have to take, say, a 20 minute rest or half an hour rest in between. I don't really know, um, but I have to make sure my body's in the f correct physical order before I even start that. And obviously I know the digits inside and out. I'm long, that's a long-winded thing to say again. But for today, we're on the, the digits now. Um, ambitious, yes, to do these things, but hey, you know, <laughs> if we think it, and, think, and believe we can do it, then we've got a much better chance of doing it. So I said, let's just crack on and we'll just, and I'll explain what I'm doing as I'm going. Okay, so, yes. So I'm gonna do the first 50 digits and then uh, I'll take off, see if I've got them right and then we'll continue the next one, have a little bit of a chat. Let's just get on with it. Okay. Eight, five, three, zero, six, one, four, two, two, eight. Right, off and running my friends, off and running. I'll explain what, how I interpret these. Um, like that one, uh, this one is He-Man, which is Dolph Lundgren. Just to give you an example, he's dressed in a, a commanding officer uniform and there's a big fire going on. I won't say any more until I get to the end, uh, so. So I'm not taking too much time. Okay, um, one four two two one four two two eight. Right. Okay. Uh, right. Let's get on with the next one. Get it in my head. The location of the next two. Eight one three seven five eight five zero four three. Okay. Hey. Eight one three seven five eight five zero four three. Okay, just shake it off a second. I've still got this injury, and I, again, I have to mention it all the time. And not because I'm complaining about this thing, it was just, uh, I guess I am complaining about it, but <laughs> it's a persistent thing. I've, I did it early on, and it's obviously painful, you know, uh, doing these things, but it hasn't stopped us from doing it, so that's that's the main thing, and I think it's getting better. Okay, right, on to the next. Yeah, okay. Zero, 
six, three, three, two, um, one, seven, five, one, eight. Okay. I'm sure pull-ups used to be easier. <laughs> I might have put on weight. I might have put on weight or I'm getting weaker. <laughs> one or the other. <laughs> uh, what did I say, right? Zero six, three three two, one seven, um, five one eight. Okay, we're getting there. Next two locations is always important to see where I'm going to go for these because sometimes I just jump up there and I'm like, oh, where was that? So, see the images and then do the thing. <laughs> Ooh. Two, nine, seven, nine, eight, six, six, two, two, three. Okay. Uh, what is it? Two, nine, seven, nine, eight. I know you can't see these. Uh, sorry. I'll finish it. Six, six, two, two, three. That doesn't look like a three. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll bring the board forward at the end once I've done the hundred. So you can uh, verify the numbers. Okay. Final couple of this 50. Uh, Seven, one, seven, two, one, five, nine, five, nine, um, one, six, oh, zero. So I thought I heard, I got distracted, I thought I heard something. I'm just going to check that the battery hasn't gone off there. Two seconds. No, that's still recording. I heard, uh, I heard a noise in yesterday. I'll tell you in a second how I've done this. Whew. Okay. Uh, seven, one, seven, two, one. Uh, seven, no, no, it's not. It's five, that's a five. Five, nine. Uh, oh, throw myself off now. Five, nine, one, six, whew, zero. Uh, okay. Um, okay. I'm just going to rub that out. Because you can't really see it and put a five there. Anyhow, five nine one six zero. Okay, I think that's right. Let's have a look. Uh, um, yeah. Okay. So yesterday. Uh, okay. Right. I think everything's. I think everything's correct there, my friends. Yeah. Yesterday was a bit of a. It was just a frustrating day for us. I try not to get frustrated. I don't see the point of it. <laughs> but we're human beings, and uh, I'm susceptible as much. And I was just a bit. I was just tired. Yes, and usually that's one of my weakest. I had me a long weekend with my daughter's twenty-first. You know, all stuff going on. And yesterday, I didn't end up doing this till later on, and I had all kinds of things going wrong. And it was quite funny in the end, actually, because I, I I do like the live stream on my phone on the Facebook, and I've got the camera behind that I post it on YouTube. Uh, and then it's, so obviously I can, I can see myself in the reflection, the reflection, because uh, I've got the video the other way around on the phone. Uh, but when I came to turn off the camera, it hadn't even been turned on. Or oh, it was on and I turned it off before I started. So I had to go and do the full 100 again. I mean, it's only 100. I mean, I know for, for some people that seems a lot and I didn't want to do the 100 again, but so it was like about oh, 10 minutes later, I was, I was thinking, oh, I can just get it, I can get it off my phone and on the computer. But obviously I can't because it's not recorded on my phone, it's like just done as a live and posted. So it was quite funny, anyhow. And uh, I guess it just shows, try to be a bit more vigilant <laughs> um, when I'm doing the camera there. But again, I was just a bit tired and all that stuff. And I made, I said I made a mistake yesterday. There was a number round about here. Because the first time I did it, I put a five Instead of an eight, and because it was, it was uh, what was it again? It was, um, I can't actually remember what the, the five digit was. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, it was five, six, four, seven, five, six, four, seven, five. 
but I'd wrote 56478 on this side. And when I came to do it on the first line, I put five, uh, 56475, and I, th and I thought, oh, oh, that's wrong. Thinking this side was wrong. And I was saying, oh, I know that it's right, but I put it wrong there. And then the next time I did it, I did exactly the same thing. I put the five, then I realized that I was actually right here, but the initial number was wrong. And just a long winded thing again, you don't need to know that. But anyhow, that, that happened again. So I was right, but I was also wrong that I didn't flag it up straight away. But again, when you're in the, you know, when you're in the, the heat of battle of pi, you're not always thinking clearly. So, um, and my, as you can probably tell, my mind's all over the place a lot of times. Anyhow, it was done and dusted. Um, and it was lessons learned, and it was all fun and games. Okay, I've waffled on too much again, so I'm gonna get through the next 50, and then I'll talk about how, uh, what system I use. Okay, so let's have a look, see where I finished that. Um, okay, so now, let's just, let's just crack on. I, I might just alternate between these two things here, because that one at the front was hurting me on a bit there, so uh, let's just try these. <sighs> Seven. Seven, one, six, six, nine, two, five, four, seven. Okay. I want to get good height on them pull ups. I don't want to be uh, scrimping on them. Seven, seven, which is Gandalf the Grey doing uh, a workout for like Arnold Schwarzenegger, doing his action. And there's a bin next to him which is on fire. Uh, Dr. Manhattan 92, which is Nils Bohr, uh, 547, uh, okay, I'll, I'll talk to him a bit more, I'll go, I'll just get through these, my friends, and then, uh, as quick as I can, <laughs> as quick as I can, 4, 8, 7, 3, uh, yeah, 7, 3, 8, um, Nine, eight, six, six, five. Whew. Um, okay. Um, nine, two, four, uh, okay. Four, eight, seven, three, eight, and, um, what I say, nine, eight, six, six, five. Okay. This next station actually, I quite often miss it out when I'm going, for some reason, I skip over this next station. And I've done it quite a few times, I don't know what it is about it, because it's actually an easy number to remember, as you'll see, and for some reason I keep on going over it. I don't know, it's just one of them things. <laughs> Let's not worry about it. I'm not worried about it, are you worried about it? Okay. Uh, Four out, <laughs> nine, four, nine, four. Five, zero, one, one, four. Whew. You see what I mean? It's, uh, it should be an easy one. Four, nine, four, nine, four. That's like a beautiful sequence. You know, it's like, you don't even really need to know the characters and the numbers for that one, you just need to know it's 49494, four, nine, four, nine, four, you know? So, anyhow, 50115, Okay, we've got four left. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm feeling it. Come on. Uh, right. It's that bulgy bit there. <laughs> That's where the, the cluster of uh, muscles and ligaments are. Going attaching on the elbow, that's where the, the most intense pain is. And so obviously everything's pulling towards that, so hey, it is what it is, right? Whew, um okay, next two. Six, five, four, zero, six, two, eight, four, three. Three. Yeah. Right. Um six five four zero six two eight four three two eight 
two, eight, four, three. Um, come on, Lee. Three. <laughs> Same thing. That's the last one. Okay. That's two. Let's just shake it off for a second. So I'm uh, not struggling and looking too weak. Yeah, I mean, it obviously looks like I'm struggling with doing these. And you know, I am in a way, uh, since I've had this injury, I haven't been able to do much tr extra training um, with the pull up. So really, I'm only doing the 100 each day, Monday to Friday, and I'm not doing any over the weekend, where normally I would have been doing, trying to be doing about 500 a day. But I haven't lost that much strength. It's a little bit, but but I've had some experimentation where I think I, I was about well I did 500 in an hour, so that's a good. Because I was like, can I do this 10,000? So I did 500 in an hour, and I felt I honestly felt as though I could have gone for another 500 in another hour. And but what I was only I was doing like five five air pull-ups, then I was waiting 35 seconds, then five pull-ups, then waiting 35 seconds, and it seems as though with just that that window there, whereas now I'm doing 10 in a row and the 10 really does wipe you out and drain you. But just doing the five is actually, you can just go on for quite a long time. So that would be the strategy. And uh, again, over the many months or something of training, as I was building my strength and stamina, um, I would obviously get better at that. So I do honestly believe that the 10,000 is achievable. Um, but, there's only one way to find out, uh, and that's why you're doing it. So, that's in the future, anyhow. Let's get the last two digits. Well, last two sets. Six, six, three, nine, three, seven, nine, zero, out, zero, three. Keep bashing the head. Crazy. Uh, six, six, three, nine, three. Three and seven nine zero seven nine. That doesn't look like a nine. Seven nine zero zero three. Sorry about that. Anyway, let's have a look. Uh, okay. Um, I think so far. Fingers crossed. Everything looks okay. Right. Here we go. Let's have a look. Let's just show you what. Uh, Everything is. Um, hello. Yes. <laughs> My eyes. There they are again. Okay. I'm a bit, I'm a bit silly, a bit childish. What can I say? <laughs> uh, oh my damn old. Right. Right. A quick run down, then we'll be done with it. So. Right. So. I say this every day, but I want to just let it say. You know, I might as well say all I need to video. So have you gone this far? So I use a person action object, but on this one it's person action. It is a kind of number shape thing, I'll explain. So convert the numbers, because otherwise there's no way on earth I could memorize 10,000 digits if I didn't have a system. So the system is to turn them, the numbers into letters, then the letters into characters that have actions and movements, and then you create a little story in your mind. So. Zero is O, one is A, two is B, three is C, four is D, five is E, six is S, seven is G, eight is H, and N, nine is N. Um, so, like this top one, seven, seven. Like I said, G, G. So I've got Gandalf the Grey, you know? So he's, he's in his action, as you can imagine, he's in his robes, you know, he's got his powerful voice, and he's like, you shall not pass, or whatever, you know? So you can have him in other, doing other things or something as well, you know, just smoking his pipe or something, or, you know, so you're not limited. And these are things which I'm exploring, because uh, I feel like I'm, I haven't even tapped in yet to what my mind is capable of. And someone was talking about this the other day, when I was talking about uh, the party thing at my daughter's 21st birthday. People are saying, I was saying, oh yes, it improved the memory. And they're like, but does it? Does it improve the memory? And I'm like, I honestly, I don't know. It would make sense that doing this and pushing the brain, and it is, I, I just like to say it as, you're taking the brain to the gym. Which it kind of makes, it makes sense to me, that if you're using your brain, and you're pushing it, and, um, to learn new things, and forcing it to do things and make connections, it has to make your brain, I'm not going to say it's, it doesn't necessarily make you smarter, but it might actually allow you to, 
um, I think you will become a little bit smarter because if you can use these techniques to start learning information about things that you want to learn about um, and I'm not always going to say like knowledge I say makes you clever but it's something if you want to learn something deeply and you can use these techniques to get the information of certain things in your head rather than just so they're really in there deeply and you can keep piling things on top with all these imageries and over the years building up your jigsaw of information and knowledge it'll probably make you more uh, and when you've got access to it as well rather than things just fading all the time then you'll feel as though you're smart or you'll, or you'll know more but it's, and for me it's not about smart I mean everyone wants to be smart I think you know you don't want to look foolish in front of people although I personally don't mind looking foolish if it's like <laughs> being stupid and a bit you know childlike and playful that's fine with me um, but it's so I'm just gonna check the back of this camera again I was just thinking I don't want that to go off okay it's still running but again it doesn't make you smarter I, I don't think it can help um, harm <laughs> and just to kind of I mean getting 10,000 digits in my head I feel so and, and learning the digits as well I feel so I'm able to absorb them a little bit faster as well so um, and if you can interpret this in the daily life with things again I'm just scratching I'm just scratching the surface here I'm going to be going deeper and deeper over the years see how I can again get information that's um, important to me not just trivia I don't, I don't mind a bit of trivia on things but um, it's like, again like I say countries and capitals it's fine to know that and in some respect it's not a bad thing to learn because maybe we should learn again about the plant that we're on and what's where and what countries are connected to other ones so I don't think that's bad things to learn for myself personally I prefer to know where things are than not anyhow so that's the system I use I turn them into so the first person so to Gandalf the Great is using the action of Sylvester Sloan so usually I've just got them lifting weights but again it could be like calling the barbarian so you could be slashing things with your sword and the last digit six so the last digit is a single digit um, and it's either number shape or number rhyme so six, uh, the rhyming is sticks. So I just have sticks, and sticks make a fire. But you know what, well, if you set fire to them, <laughs> or you rub them together. So I've always just got six as fire now. You know, it does, you, you might people be like, oh, well, that doesn't work with me. But to me, it's just like, it's, and I think it's a good action because it's just, you can have flames coming out of your hands or the heads or just a pile next to you or just fire somewhere. If there's fire in there, then you know that the last digit is six. So. Um, again, but if it was the other way around, then it would be Arnold Schwarzenegger would be standing there going with his German accent going, You shall not pass! Or whatever, you know, maybe flexing his muscles. Maybe dressed as Gandalf as well, and there'll still be the fire, so you see? Maybe the, the staff's on fire there, so... Anyhow, that's what I do. Place them on the locations, and then you move along the locations. And then, when I get the 10,000 in my head, I'm going to go back over all these things, try and reinforce them, try and make them more memorable. And then try and get them to interact with the other characters if I can, um, if it'll gel there, so I so I know the interconnections between them, and just have fun with it. You know, it's just it's just something that I've chosen to do, and I believe it can be beneficial uh, for many things in my life. So I'm doing it to show, and I mean, this is basically the evidence here to show that I've done it. And again, I'll, I'll be, I can be tested through it. You know, people might be like, oh, you could be reading these or. Why, why would I do that? It's insane. It's just like, <laughs> you know, um, and I'll be definitely proving that I can do this. Um, once I've got them all in there, so I'll be wrapping them off. I'll be like, the pie guy. I might get it on a registration on my car or something. Hey, come on. It'd be awesome, wouldn't it? Anyway, my friends, I'm going to go. I've got some 24 to watch. Season 7. Okay, come on, Bauer. Okay, my friends, have a great day. I'll see you uh, tomorrow for day 47. Uh, bye, pie. Okay. <laughs> there we go. That's... Uh, Let's post that to my YouTube friends. Um, next. Bloop. Post. 30 days and next. Okay, let's see. Ooh, no, it hasn't posted yet. God, it's such a process, man. Uh, okay, that's still going. Yeah. Um, so there. Yeah, that's it. I um, hope, again, today was useful. I hope uh, if anyone watched yesterday, they had some, some laughing, some comedy moments for the fact that I messed up and I had to do it again. You know, I should be punished. You know, every now and again. And, and after I get all that, you know what it is, you, you kind of complain about this stuff. We can't help complaining as humans, and you're just like, oh man. And then you know you've got to do it again. And you're trying to find all these other ways that you can get out of it. But in the end, 
just accepting and getting on and doing it and trying to be funny or jovial about it is I think the best way to go on about it and um, you know no one likes a sour poster okay my friends anyhow um, yeah I'm just gonna cut it off uh, for today as well and uh, yeah crotch we're, we're almost there 5,000 well not almost there 5,000 it's like it's a pivotal point though okay yeah halfway there okay have a great day my friends see you tomorrow and bye bye